Welcome, welcome to how this is David Travelli, Alaska to Patagonia, and today we're gonna do an unboxing and review of the MSR Dragonfly multi fuel stove. And it's a stove that I used for many years. I used it from, I picked it up in Panama and I used it all through the South America till Patagonia and then from Africa all Africa and then uh, once I got to Turkey unfortunately I damaged uh, my dragonfly and uh, I made a mistake while I was uh, doing a maintenance and I had a little accident and uh, so I sent it home and uh, I picked up a, a pocket rocket too and but now MSR sent me a replacement um, stove so that I can continue to use uh, uh, the Dragonfly for the for the remaining of my round the world uh, adventure. Again the disclaimer as usual this is not a paid review unfortunately. Uh, let's get into it. This is the MSR Dragonfly, Dragonfly combo. What it means? It means that it comes with uh, the stove system but also with the with the fuel bottle and this is a 591 milliliter bottle which i'm not gonna use because i have a bigger bottle that is almost one liter and i'm gonna show it later because it's on uh, it's on my bike this is definitely my favorite multi-fuel stove because you can simmer but let's see what's inside uh, uh, its pouch there is uh, uh, aluminium foil to protect the, the stove from the wind this is to reflect the heat you fit the stove here and the aluminium foil all around we will see it later uh, most of times I don't use this uh, never probably these are the instruction manuals in uh, so many different languages and uh, inside there is also like some maintenance uh, information that could be good to keep because when the the stove stop working for some reason you will be able to to fix it this is the um, the lead for the bottle is uh is one of those safety leads so that kids cannot open it and there is uh, some uh, some maintenance uh, spare parts there is a different uh, nozzle depending on the fuel that you use you have to change the nozzle of the of the stove and then there is uh, some uh, some bits and pieces to use maintenance and there is some uh, some oil that basically you will need to lubricate uh, the stove to lubricate the o-rings especially if you use uh, gasoline petrol uh, the one that you use in your car it's gonna it's gonna make the o-rings very dry so it's better if you keep it lubricated otherwise they're not gonna last this is the pump that we are gonna fit into the into the fuel bottle it creates pressure so that the the fuel can uh, can reach uh, the the stove now this is how the dragonfly close up and let's see if i can open it up and uh, it's very simple to use basically I'm gonna show you, but you can uh, deploy it within uh, within seconds. Now, on the label, there is basically um, some uh, some warnings about uh, carbon monoxide hazard, and also there is uh, uh, all the instruction how to use it. It's like a, a cheat sheet uh, in English and in French, looks like and you could uh, cut it out. This is a plastic material, so you could consider ditching uh, the full manual on paper and just bring out this that has some, some information 
and uh, some images that will uh, will guide you through the usage. I'm going to just remove them. And this is just a, a warning that says use only with an MSR fuel bottle. Read instruction carefully. Follow op operating procedures. One note about uh, the maintenance of the, the stove. While you have everything to do basic maintenance of the stove, MSR sells two maintenance kit. And the maintenance kit are stove specific, so you will have to buy the maintenance kit for the Dragonfly. And MSR sells two different maintenance kit. One is the annual maintenance kit that has most things and most spare parts to maintain your, um, your stove. And then it has the expedition maintenance kit that I would strongly suggest you to get instead of the annual one because this one has absolutely everything you need to maintain, to take apart your stove, put it back together and restore functionality. It has the tools, uh, it has this filter for the fuel this is the this cup for the and this is the seal for the for the pump and but most importantly it's these little bits and pieces i don't know if you appreciate but there are very very tiny o-rings uh, let's see if you can see them and uh, and there are many of them there's uh, then the springs for the pump um, this is the needle, the self-cleaning needle. This is uh, uh, the attachment for the pump. And uh, there are uh, fuel filters, these ones. Uh, there are two nozzles. Um, yeah, there's so many bits and pieces in this little thing. And that's all basically you need. And uh, by the Murphy's Law, if you have only the annual maintenance kit, you might find yourself, you are looking for a little or ring and it's the one missing so just spend a few euros more and go for the expedition maintenance kit this one then uh, if it's too big I mean you can put it in uh, in something much smaller because yeah we don't need this uh, hard case you might be confused because I show you many things this is my fuel bottle you see it's uh, it's much bigger this is the the safety lid of the bottle so to open it we just need to push it and twist it and my bottle has now white gas that is the best uh, uh, fuel you can use for uh, for your stove because it burns very quick uh, so it burns very clean next uh, so basically we need three parts to operate our stove the stove itself the pump and the bottle. As you can see, the pump doesn't fit properly in the bottle. Uh, we need to do this movement and it goes safely into, uh, into the bottle. We twist it and turn a bit when it's safe. Okay, now make sure that uh, the, the pump is closed so there is a minus, if you turn it right, you close it. So now it's all turned right. We can, we can pump it a few times. And the pumping motion will, will create pressure. And the pressure will allow to the fuel to go through. Next, we need to uh, attach this lead. Make sure that the, this bit of metal is uh, twisted on the right. And then either you use every now and then some of the some of this lubricant on on this part, or you can use your uh, saliva like this. And you put a bit of saliva there, and that's important to for for the longevity of uh, of your stove. Uh, just to attach it, basically, here where you see the numbers, it just need to align like that with the top of the stove and then you secure this bit of metal so this is in place so it cannot uh, it cannot get out 
the stove is secured and we can open we make sure this is closed and now we are we are ready to prime the the stove before we can use the stove we need to prime it what does it mean it, need, it means that we need to get this bit of our uh, of our stove very hot when this is hot it will sublimate there will be a process i think it's called sublimation where the liquid uh, fuel going through this very hot uh, part it will it will become a gas like a, a vapor and therefore it will burn much more efficient clean and uh, we can cook much quicker next to operate our stove we just make sure we pumped uh, a few times about 15 20 times yeah when the pump is in pressure we make sure this on the right is closed this was closed because we double check we open this one and then we open this a little bit to make sure that a few drops of, um, of fuel goes into our stove like that and then we close it again and we start the priming just lighting uh, hold on a second we light this uh, and when it burning it will make the the stove very hot if you only had very few drops you can open a little bit more and then with the usage you will become uh, more familiar with the priming and you will understand uh, how the priming work uh, the best is also to to use this when it's almost burned you'll see it's time to start to open and see if it needs a bit more maybe it needs a bit more fuel let's put this so the the wind it's not going to interfere and then we it's, I didn't prime it properly and maybe there is some uh, some dirt in the in the stove as well as you can see now it's burning very clean after the prime it got really hot the priming is uh, This is the simmering. As you can see, I can turn it down to next to nothing. Very, very low flame. And this is the simmering. Or I can turn it up. Now to turn off the, the stove, simply close, turn right the valve on the, on the bottle and open at the maximum the simmering valve. It will burn all the, the fuel that is inside there. The stove is on, I put the aluminium foils for uh, maximum energy efficient and we are going to do a test. I put uh, uh, one liter of water, it's exactly one liter, I don't know if you can see the, the level there, one liter. And we are going to double check uh, what's the claim of MSR on, uh, on the box here. They are claiming 3.5 minutes boiling time for one liter of water with uh, white gas. With, and also with diesel, with kerosene it takes a little bit longer, 3.9 minutes.
see how red it got. Now we turn it off. Time to disassemble, very simple. We close the flame regulator and simmering and we disconnect the fuel lead and uh, yeah this was some, uh, some and then it's slightly open because there is pressure there was too much pressure actually and then it's very difficult to to take it out if you don't do this movement simple then you put a little rug and you and you put this on 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 a little rug you safely close the bottle and the stove you just twist this close the support fit secure them in place and then with this locking thing you can secure it here and uh, off you go it's uh, it's ready to put back in its pouch this i will put it in a rag also you can close properly and there you go it's done the msr dragonfly is definitely my multi-fuel stove of choice uh, it has only advantages the only disadvantage as i see it is that you cannot uh, uh, connect uh, uh, a gas canister uh, there is a model of a multi-fuel stove from msr that is the swiss per light universal that you can connect canisters uh, gas canisters but uh, I think this is the still the best solution uh, if you want to have the option of uh, of using gas canisters as well um, I would recommend just to get a, a, a small gas stove that is like 50 70 grams uh, they, they pack down very very small it's like not even a handful and they they weigh next to nothing 50 70 grams so in that case you you have both uh, for my adventure i think uh, uh, the dragonfly is all i need and the fact that you can simmer is, uh, is 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 it's a bonus for me because it allows you to uh, to cook very quick uh, and very efficient and to save fuel for example as uh, as i mentioned when you cook pasta, pasta actually cook at 80 degrees. So you don't need to boil. You, once the, the water is boiling, you can also turn almost turn off the, the water because the, the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and the pasta cook at 80 degrees. So it means for the, even if you're cooking some fancy pasta that cooks for, that needs to cook for 10 minutes, you can just simmer very low and you will be saving lots of fuel with the other stove you can simmer up to a point but it's uh, it's 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 a bit more complicated you need to regulate the pre you you don't need to store too much fuel into the bottle ideally it has to be half full or half empty depending if you're an optimist or a pessimist and uh, and then with the with the pump you can regulate a little bit the uh, uh, you can simmer a little bit but it's it's never ideal with the with this flame regulator you can precisely simmer as much as you want that's all i hope you have found this um, this video useful if you if you like it just uh, just hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video ciao